Hello, my name is Janice Jean. I'm a DBA student at St. Mary's University of Minnesota Twin Cities. I will be presenting about animation and strategy. Some of the contents that I will be going over is what is animation. Uh, looking at animation, we'll be looking at a comparison between traditional animation and how it has evolved over time. Uh, um, looking at digital computer art animation, efficiency and work production and constructs. And then we'll also look into uh, my research question for my dissertation topic and how it ties to um, strategy. And I have some hypotheses to go over with with the sub question. And then we'll be looking at uh, computer digital art and strategy. So what is animation? Uh, it is a process of giving life to motion or images, brings life to images. Um, and how does it develop over time? In terms of traditional animation, it is a process that where images were drawn by uh, cell by cell during the early stages of animation. It is a process where cell images or put on clear backgrounds and then they are put on to painted backgrounds uh, and that's how they create animation it's by working frame by frame um, some of the more traditional um, animation could be like flipbook but that would be um, it would have a smaller amount of uh, production in terms of about the amount of like length of work that it can come out of, but in terms of traditional animation, working cell by cell and frame by frame, um, cell animation technique is a special process where artists can focus on different areas of animating. For example, there would be artists that would just focus on creating characters and designing them. And then there are some artists that could just be focused on just on background art. And um, when it's done, then it's put together to create the animation. Uh, however, this could be like a tedious process because it's a frame by frame work. So each frame, it's similar. It, you need to have the image drawn, lined, colored, uh, refined quality check and that could take a long time uh, since it's one by one and uh, image over a background so this is why uh, some organizations might decide that they want to move on to new technologies to make their process faster or more efficient um, so here is when we're going to move to um, computer and digital art animation. Computer and digital art animation, um, I have a definition here from Zhao that digital animation is the use of digital media technology which integrates text, sound, graphics, and images, etc transform the abstract digital into the perceivable, watchable, manageable, and interactive form of information pr proves the production efficiency by copying and diversifies the visual expression by digital images and virtual reality technology. So um, in terms of digital technology, you can copy your images versus when you do traditional animation, you have to hand draw every image even though it's similar, each image, there's a slight difference in movement. That way, that's how you can create a smooth animation. But in terms of computer and digital art, we can speed up the process by copying it and just do a slight movement from there. Uh, that is a more of a quicker process, which is why some organizations might decide to use it to use it versus um, using uh, traditional animation process. Um, 
and another form of animation which is uh, 2d digital art it's not it's uh, a little bit different from the traditional process which is uh, more focused on just um, images and um, copying versus traditional animation um, and in terms of 2D animation, a popular style is anime, which is a Japanese art style. Um, it is a form of animation that is a cultural phenomenon with the use of Japanese aesthetics. And one of the popular animators in this industry is from Studio Ghibli. And um, in terms of 3D animation, uh, it's similar to 2D animation, but it has a more complex and designed and motion manipulation. Um, it has more of a realistic approach to animation and um, more of a higher level quality of work. And um, it might be a process that's more com complicated compared to um, traditional art animation, but it's supposed to be a process to help speed up um, the animation process. And um, digital animation has been used um, to explore trends of visual communication as new technologies have developed over time. So here is my research question. Um, does computer digital art graphics affect animation product efficiency? Um, and how does the strategy tie to my research? Despite uh, animation process developing over time um, due to um, new technologies, organization uses different strategies to stay competitive, current, and produce work in the most efficient way. Uh, there are organizations that decide to stay with the traditional process, which is something that um, I can explain further later on in the presentation. But um, because it is a system and a product that's supposed to help uh, improve a process, it is, that's how it ties to strategy because it's to face a challenge in the animation industry to help stay competitive. And here are my hypotheses and a sub-question. Um, computer digital art graphics improves animation work quality and computer digital art graphics improves efficiency in animation. Efficiency can mean in terms of higher work quality or speeding up process, reducing costs, um, learning a new skill. A sub-question that I like to focus on is, does computer and digital art graphics affect organizational value? Uh, what I mean by that is because there are organizations that decide to stay uh, with traditional processes. So if they decide that they want to change to digital art uh, graphics, how does that affect the value of the work? So in terms of efficiency and production, um, one of the methods that some animation um, studios have used is capture motion process. This is um, supposed to help speed up the process and improve quality of work. Uh, what I mean by this is that this process is kind of a cross between stop motion and traditional animation. The difference is that it's a process that captures the motion onto the image and then it's traced on um, frame by frame and modified to animation like the image uh, on this presentation and this means that the process is not uh, completely drawn out or from hand or based on imagination. Um, it is a process that is that it's helped make it easier for artists to draw certain motions. 
and it can speed up the process but may be debatable in the animation industry in terms of quality of work. Some industries, um, animation studios might not use this uh, because they want to have the work be just completely um, anim animated instead of having capture motion in it. And some might not consider it as um, genuine animation. So not all animation studios use this process, but it is a process that can help speed up animation. And another um, strategy um, is reducing costs or or does it hinder the process? Um, and how does that affect production? Uh, the cost of new technologies can hinder the animation process. Depends on the studio. Is it efficient? It really depends on the studio. Artists may have to learn how to use the new skill. Um, and they might have to transition from uh, being a traditional artist into a digital art artist. This might be a challenge for some artists, um, but for those that have started with just uh, digital art, it might be something easier for them. Mm -hmm. And um, artists might have to learn how to use new computer graphic art software based on the availability of new technology. Not all technology are available for learning due to pricing or maintenance and it's computer graphics is different from using traditional animation methods so it's possible that many artists might not have the skill or ability to learn the new process and it might be a big trouble for those who have started digital art early on but it might be a new transition to those who are still practicing traditional art artists would need to master the skill first before they can actually apply it to animation and um, computer animation can help save time, labor, and money, whether it is applying like new techniques through 2D or 3D animation. Uh, computer graphics has unlimited possibilities in terms of creativity and imagination. Um, due to the development of technology over time, animation techniques can be applied in many ways, whether it's traditional, stop motion, or digital. And um, in terms of speeding up process, um, despite the challenges of learning how to use new um, computer graphic and arts uh, digi digital softwares, there are benefits to using it as well. Um, it, it can speed up pr the process and store data, and you are able to view multiple images at the same time on the screen. This will help make the process a lot easier. Um, 3D animation has a process of developing high quality results and accomplish a fast result. Uh, looking at current trends of animation, students may want to apply 3D animation to use as an easy approach to create animation versus traditional animation, where it's more tedious and takes more time. And some studios might want to have a faster process to meet the demands of their um, audience. Some of the common softwares are here in this presentation, Autodesk, Maya, Blender, and Maximum, and Toonboom. Some of the, these are some of the softwares that are used in computer art graphics. Um, although there are, like, these are the different types, there are some that are free for, they are free. Some of them are more pricey depending on the features that they have. And the complexity of the software can also determine how pricey it can be as well. Then, in terms of creativity, mm, once an artist learns how to use a technique from the new software, they will need to know how to apply it and create. Um, how computer graphics help or hinder the creative process depends on the stages of ideas. And things can come to life because of new technologies. Um, landscapes have been used to create a, a time period where it can give viewers a better feel of the film used through cinematic uh, experience. Some uh, studios use uh, traveling as a way to get inspired 
uh, to get uh, ideas for their 